Hello and welcome back to another look at our increasingly corrupt Biden campaign media who abandoned their mandate as the fourth estate check on power and are now little more than propagandists for the Democrat party showing their allegedly pro-democracy goons losing their freaking minds over the fact they can't rig the election. We've learned that it was a nine to nothing decision ruling that Donald Trump can be on the ballot in Colorado and other states. I'm not confident that that will produce a result that's good for American democracy. Oh, well, allow me to retort. Oh, really? It's not good for American democracy when Americans are allowed to vote for that guy's opponent. I don't know about you all, but that all sounds legitimately democracy. <laughs> This is actually what I had been concerned about. I had been concerned that it should it go to the Supreme Court, they would rule this way. I'd laugh if it weren't so sad. My next guest says Donald Trump is still an oath-breaking insurrectionist. Do you have confidence in the Supreme Court? Do you think this court is partisan? Oh, you crazy. First off, why does she look like she's on the verge of a psychotic episode? Why do every one of these wannabe authoritarian Democrat nut jobs look like this? Second, they really believe simply repeating insurrectionists over and over makes it true. And you can't blame them because it is a legitimate strategy used by some historic figure I can't quite remember at the moment. Oh, that was different. The court itself may have overstepped. The court went way further than it needed to go. Our colleague Melissa Murray has called this Supreme Court the YOLO court. The criticism of the court is that they're playing interference. Not since Bush v. Gore have we seen a court that has had this many opportunities to interfere in the election. Wait, what? It's interference when the court stops Democrats from removing their opponent from the ballot and rigging the election in their favor, Vladimir Putin style? This is the kind of warped delusion you get from people who are convinced that their actions, no matter how evil and authoritarian, are somehow just different because they're the ones doing it. That really sounds like they're attacking a major American institution, which we were told for years is an insurrectionist attack on democracy. But as we all know by now, in their heads, there's an exception for them. And of course, those exceptions extend to election denying conspiracy theories. But the fact is, Bush won every recount, and even after the Supreme Court stopped more recounts, there were studies done showing that Bush would have won those recounts also, and even increased his lead. You really, really do not hate these media ghouls enough. The headline here is this, that this is a unanimous ruling, but if you scratch the surface just a little. Oh boy. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Get ready for some Biden campaign media reality bending and disinformation. The headline here is this, that this is a unanimous ruling, but if you scratch the surface just a little. This is a five to four ruling on part of it. This is actually a five to four decision. It's five to four. Excuse me. What? Trump will take this, spin it spread the misinformation, disinformation on it, so it's a win for them. <laughs> Man. What is projection? Projection is a psychological defense mechanism where you have feelings and emotions that are unacceptable to you, and instead of owning it, you attribute it to someone else. I think he's talking to you. He, he's on the ballot and voters will vote and he and he looks like he's headed to become the Republican nominee for president. Well, why don't you cry about it? You can't save a people from themselves. If they're determined to reelect him after he organized that insurrection, then there's nothing to stop the people from doing that. <laughs> you see, by rigging the election in his favor and removing his opponent from the ballot, he was just trying to save you. I feel safe. Already. Yeah, you're basically living in Putin's Russia, but it's different. I mean, just stop for a second and think what his opponent could do with that exact same warped logic. Joe Biden is literally aiding the invasion of this country by almost 8 million, mostly military aged males that should not be here. That's why these clowns are such a joke. They think allowing you to vote for who you want to is some kind of gift they're giving you. They've reached a level of delusion that nobody can come back from. And if you think they're just gonna allow this election to go on without their interference, then you have a rude awakening coming. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one, but I appreciate you watching. If you're still here and enjoyed it, please hit that like button and make sure to keep checking back for more. Thanks a lot. See you on the next one.